I'm Jeff Opperman. I'm a freshwater scientist with the Nature Conservancy. I have recruited my son, Luca, to help me demonstrate how natural ecosystems keep water clean. Okay, so what have we created here? A natural soil thing. So what parts does it have? It's got cotton first, then we've got the pebbles, sand, and the bigger pebbles, and we'll use So, what we have is, it's as if we have taken a slice of the hillside, and we've put it here. Okay, and now what is the next step? Oh, uh, we've got to pour this dirty water. This is, like, water mixed with mud. And when it comes out the bottom of this, it will have been all clean, clean from what we started with right here. Now I'm going to put these rocks in which are going to stand for our roads. Roads and parking lots roads and, and parking lots and buildings. Rooftops, yeah. So all the all the hard surfaces. Dirty water is going in. And what happens when and the, there's no sand and dirt and leaves and pebbles to filter it out, so this is what we're gonna be drinking. Which would have more water in the creek during dry times? This one would since water from when it they had a big rainstorm it would probably still be sinking through this will just come straight down fast and then they wouldn't have water and we'll just be drinking water maybe a little bit less dark but still dirty mm. filled with things we don't want to eat okay so to get healthy water we need trees <laughs> and the forests Right now, are cleaning out all the water that goes into Lake Erie, and that's where we get all of our water from. 